guys welcome back to our channel I'm Felicia and in today's video I will be giving a brief update on our second twin pregnancy yes our second set of twins I am pregnant with so thanks for coming back um, please continue to support us and watch our videos if you haven't watched our previous videos please go back and watch those and if you like us share and subscribe to our channel so in this video I'm just gonna be giving some um, updates on how I've been feeling and any um, symptoms that I've been having and I'm also going to share with you some of the differences between this twin pregnancy and my first and I'll also give you guys a doctor visit update okay so my first update to share with you guys is that um, I'm happy to announce that my morning sickness has seemed to gone away so and I've been afraid to even say this out loud because every time I think I'm over it it comes back and it bites me so I, I think um, it's been about a week or so so I think it's gone um and I'm happy because that was that was just a whole nother beast getting up morning sickness noon sickness night sickness snack sickness I mean it was just sickness I mean it's crazy plus with the four kids I already have it was a lot so um, I haven't been feeling really all that sick um, I just had headaches which are pretty much in the morning so once I kind of gather myself get up get dressed get going it kind of goes away so look anything's better than just having all the morning sickness so hey I just still have the headaches that's kind of lingering in the morning time um, another symptom that I've started to experience is round ligament pain um, now I will say that I normally have those later on but I've started experiencing those again and mostly it's in my hips and my groin area so for me it's just when I get up or if I'm sitting down too long I would just like it's kind of like my legs or underneath my butt <laughs> it gets like um numb or it's like it kind of fell asleep it's kind of the best way I kind of can explain it but um it's just it's just like it's a little painful but it's not too 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 bad I mostly it mostly gets worse at night when trying to sleep it's just I have to put either a pillow um between my legs or like my son's old boppy pillow that he used to use I put that between my legs and it's it's okay it's tolerable but um yeah so I, I am experiencing the round ligament pains and again it's nothing new it's just something that comes with it but it did start happening earlier in this pregnancy um so another update <laughs> is my food cravings are still changing frequently changing so like I think I talked we talked about this in a previous video with my husband um I'm still sitting home on runs to the grocery store just to get like little snacks or whatever that I'm having a craving for but the only thing is with this this time around or just this pregnancy to be honest um my cravings aren't lasting so I don't even know if I should really call them cravings but just the things that I can kind of the foods I can tolerate I would say um so an example is I may uh let's just say snacks so I may want a crunch bar and he'll go get it but last week it was completely fine today if I eat it it just tastes chalky and I don't want it so it's just like I don't want those snacks all the snacks that you done bought I don't want them anymore <laughs> but it, don't worry it's not like food is going to waste because I got four kids and a husband take care of it no problem so in two days some snacks are gone so I don't really worry about it it's just 
my food cravings are just changing so frequent it's just kind of hard to keep up with it like as far as like grocery shopping and trying to just plan out my meals and i'm gonna eat it's just it's hard um to be honest dinner i think is the most difficult because I just never, I mean, before pregnancy, I never knew what I wanted to eat anyway. I can just kind of like go with the flow or eat something that I normally eat. And the way we meal prep is just, to be honest, the same things that we kind of just like and works for our family. That's what it is. Um, and it's not the same, I shouldn't say the same thing, but you know, like we eat shrimp, chicken, um, our usual vegetables, our usual fruits and stuff like that. It's just uh, he already knows. So whoever's going to the grocery store, we just kind of get the same things. And we know we can make different meals out of it. This time, for me, it's as far as for me. Um, yeah, no, we just don't want it. And the thing that, the only constant thing that I know I can eat without any problem is chicken. And if you know me, I am not a big chicken eater. So... Um, yeah, I just kind of either have to suck it up, eat the chicken, or sit here and try to figure it out. It is what it is. Um, the other thing when it comes to food is I have to have my breakfast. Um, and my breakfast is still the same for pregnancy. It's, um, grits, <laughs> bacon, and scrambled egg with cheese. It's the same. Um, I have to have my fruit, my smoothie, and what else do I have to have? And I have to have a dinner, so I have to eat a dinner. Again, I'm not a big meal eater. I, I will eat dinner when I'm not pregnant, but other than that, I can kind of just grab something here and there and just go and be fine. Um, but pregnancy, when I wake up, I'm hungry. Actually, during the night, I already know. I need to get up, make my breakfast, and go on, you know, start my day. And I have to have my breakfast. It's no getting around that. So those are like the main updates so far, week 15, um, that I have. The first update um, for the doctor's appointment is that I have to go every two weeks. Let's start there. And I actually go to get a cervix check and also just a general ultrasound um, just to check on the babies just to make sure that they're growing how they're supposed to. So again, my first set of twins, they are fraternal. These are identical. Um, so with the identical, they, well, let's just say both of my pregnancies, both of my twin pregnancies, we're both considered to be high risk and according to my doctors that is because i'm carrying twins they are automatically considered a high risk pregnancy this one is a little different because um with identical twins and mine in particular they are sharing the same placenta so um they have their individual sacs if i'm remembering correctly but they're sharing the same placenta. So they just wanted to make sure that they weren't going to like grow into each other or have like vanishing twin syndrome and a whole list of other things that they are just kind of looking out for. But so far, my cervix is long and closed. Um, and the twins are growing at a good rate they're not worried about them they're not growing together like infusing into each other i guess um when i say together um so they are looking good so that's great news um and the other thing that we do at the doctor's appointment of course like the regular stuff which i was not making an appointment for was the, um, just taking like the weight check, the blood pressure check. Because when we do the ultrasound where I go, when we do the ultrasound, my sonographer, I mean, she's amazing. Amazing. Um, she actually like, while she's doing it, she will speak and like tell me, 
exactly what she's looking at, what she sees. Um, and then after she does all that, the doctor will just come in afterwards and we'll talk there. So I didn't really think uh, um, a blood pressure check and a weight check was necessary for each visit since I'm coming so often. But they do want to monitor me all around. So I am starting to do that again. Um, and I've only had a few appointments, but... I am starting to do the whole process and everything looks great so my blood pressure is great my weight they're not too concerned about I mean I gain a little more every pregnancy so I mean they kind of know it's on trend it's pretty typical for how I gain weight um, like I said the blood pressure is good so they're not worrying about that now quick question for you guys who have had babies do you tell your doctor every little thing like that's going on? So example for me, like I'm having the round ligament pains and all of that. Do you tell them at your appointment or do you just like, because you know what it is now since you've already experienced it, do you just kind of like just go with the flow? Because I'm a go with the flow. I don't really see a need to bring it up. Unless it's something like um, completely different that I've never experienced before or something like that. Or something that's literally impacting my day. I don't bring it up. So, <laughs> my visits are always um, short. Sweet, simple, and to the point. How I like it. So, I don't know. Y'all just let me know in the comments below. The next thing, I mean, which I've kind of already hit on, uh, I just wanted to give you guys just like the differences I have noticed so far between my second twin pregnancy and my first. So like I've said before, my first twin pregnancy, they were fraternal. So it was literally two eggs that was fertilized, implanted, whatever grew. So honestly, that one is no different than just me having like, um, Siblings, so it's like a for me. It was a brother a sister and a brother um, It was two separate eggs whereas this time it was one egg that Either implanted and then split or egg got fertilized split and then both implanted I don't really know all the technical. I don't know if they can figure out what I don't know But just know it's identical. They're in the same sack uh, Well, not the same sack, but the same thing their own sack sharing the placenta <laughs> um yeah so that's a big difference and i won't lie i do feel a difference with these like just carrying them overall like my breathing is just super heavy um they feel extremely heavy like early on and i know that they're not um big or you know heavy yet but it's just the internal weight pressure that I just feel earlier and I don't I don't I don't know why this one is a little different it, it could be because I, I you know I have the kids and you know you're dealing with that you're dealing with work I mean it's just a lot going on so maybe it's just like the exhaustion of dealing with everything plus being pregnant you know not getting the naps and the you know the little things I got to do with the first twin pregnancy because they were my first pregnancy so if I was tired at any point I just take a nap now can't do that so I don't know maybe that plays a role in it but um that's a difference um like I said before a lot of doctor's appointments from the beginning so once they found out it was twins identical twins they just and also because of my first again like I said my first set of twins because my cervix was pretty much non-existent at it was actually before my 20 week appointment we found out that um they just wanted to kind of hop on it earlier um and also so they can watch out for how that twins are actually growing together so i mean they're very pleased like i said it's nothing you know bad happening
happening with that but it's just every two weeks from the beginning that's a lot it's it's just a lot and and it's not like the the doctor's office is that close to me so it's just a lot to deal with um and then let's see another one is i feel like my eating like i've mentioned before is different because i feel like i don't know if it was just me but i was like i can't if i get you know when i went before you get pregnant, you're just like, if I get pregnant again, I can't wait to get pregnant again. I'm going to eat this, 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 and this, and this. Now I ain't going to worry about it. I'm just going to, you know, eat what I want, do what I want, because I'm pregnant. And that's not working out for me. Like, that's not how it's going for me. I feel more restricted pregnant than I did when I was just eating right. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, you always reward yourself when you are eating right, but it's not what I thought. You know, like, you just figure you're pregnant, you're going to you gonna go out, you're going to get that second scoop of ice cream and all that type of stuff, but it doesn't really work that way. At least not for me. Y'all tell me how y'all experience was. Other than that, I don't really think there's too much of a difference yet between this pregnancy and my first twin pregnancy um i mean there's not really even a difference well i mean other than the twin thing um that stands out between my singleton my two singleton pregnancies no i don't think so uh but i will say i have and this is not a update but it's in a pregnancy baby carrying thing i do feel since i've been pregnant so many times now i feel like i've kind of gotten good at uh predicting the sex so stay tuned for that because i think but i think they're girls um just by the symptoms that i'm having so like early on my face is just uh, um, broken out you know just going through that ugly stage I guess you can just call it um, and just other things too it's just leading more to world what's when I was pregnant with my girl versus my boy uh, and I think when I'm carrying gir a girl my pregnancy is just a little more difficult so considering that this one is more on the difficult side, I think they're girls. Um, again, I, I don't know if we said this before, but really don't care what they are uh, as long as they're healthy, right? But I, I do want girls. I want them to be girls. I don't really know what my husband really wants i really don't think he really cares what they are because at this point we have two of both so it's not like we're lacking a certain sex so at this point it is what it is and we'll find out soon what we're having so stay tuned for that uh and we will see you soon so thanks for coming back to our channel as always it's very much appreciated please continue to come back and support us like i said before please like us comment below subscribe to the channel and i'll see you soon all right bye